Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Irons Recap, sponsored by the attorneys of Kelleher and Buckley. I'm Dan Irons, out here at Friend High School for the opening round of the 8A playoffs, and the Vikings took care of business at home with a 19-0 win over Plainfield North. And it doesn't happen on offense or defense without the guys in the trenches. I'm here with one of the big men, Jack Walsh. Hey, Jack, just talk about uh, the team's win tonight. Uh, it was just a heck of a team win. Offensively, we, we really had to uh, control the line, and I thought we did pretty well. We had a couple big plays, a couple inside zone, really big plays. Defensively, yeah, we had stopped a big player, Marcellus Moore, uh, just contain him on the edge because they, they like to run a lot of jet sweep with him, So we, and I thought we did a really well job with that. They did a damn good job. Vikings are moving on to round two. Let's get to the highlights. Opening round of the 8A playoffs out in Palatine as the 13th seeded Fremd Vikings hosted the 20th seeded Plainfield North Tigers. First quarter was a defensive slugfest as neither offense could get much footing in the form of a drive and combined for five punts in the opening stanza. And it was more of the same throughout the second quarter until the Vikings start to get something cooking late in the period. With Fremd facing a third and eight from its own 24, QB Ryan Sachs finds some daylight to move the sticks and benefits from a personal foul penalty tacked on at the end of the play to put Fremd in a Tiger territory. Moments later, Sachs catches in from two yards out and the home team has the 7-0 lead with 3.15 left until intermission. And Fremd wasn't finished. The defense gets the ball back into Sachs' hands with just over a minute to go and that was more than enough time. From his own 30, Sachs takes off for 24 yards behind his tough O-line and moments later, could they get closer for a makeable field goal try? Scrap that idea, Sachs with a house call from 37 yards away. Check out the wheels and then the spin on this kid. 13 love at the break. Vikings get the ball to start the third and everything was clicking. It's the Sachs brothers connecting again, doing what they do all season long. Big gain here on the flea flicker followed by an absolute dart from Sachs to Ryan Palmer, 19-0 Fremd, with nine and change left in the third. Plainfield North tried to answer on its ensuing drive, getting into Fremd territory, but then check out this stick by Joey Rattine to jar the ball loose, textbook timing, but the play is ruled a catch by the officials. Was it? You be the judge. Tigers appear to get on the board a few plays later on a nine-yard TD pass by Adam Smith, but an ineligible player downfield penalty negated that score, and when the Tigers went for it on fourth, the firm D forced the turnover on downs. Plainfield North still trailing by 19 midway through the fourth, looking for a quick strike and a ray of hope, but that was all but snuffed out by this ridiculous one-handed pick by Jack Hipchin. He wears number one, he wears number two. When you make plays like that, you can wear any number you want, young man. Vikings roll on to round two, 19 to nothing. Well, hey, that's all here from Fremden High School. For Gridirons, I'm Dan Irons.